In this video, I wanna give you the exact formula that you can follow to figure out whether or not you're actually making money or losing money on classes. For context, it's very important that the next piece that I'm gonna walk you through is a fairly in-depth math equation. So it's gonna be flashed up as I walk through it. So just follow along and just bear with me. It may take you a couple times to practice to figure it out, but trust me, it's definitely worth it. So the reason why I'm going to show you this is because a lot of gym owners and fitness professionals like me when I first started had no idea whether or not I was actually making money in specific classes that I had. And if you're anything like me, you had busy classes and you had classes that people would ask for and then they would be partially attended and they weren't completely full. And you're like, well, I still need it because I want to make sure I service these clients. When in fact, you might actually not be hitting the gross margins that you need to in order to scale your business. So moving forward, let's give an example and let's walk through the math equation. Before I get into the math equation, it's very important to understand one thing. The gross margin that you're looking to have per class on your actual revenue is 80% gross margins. The 20% should be your cost of goods sold. The least amount should be 80. Your goal should be higher than that. So the minimum amount that you should have on your classes is 80% gross margins. It's gross, not net, because you're going to have other expenses like rent and all the other stuff. But your cost of goods sold is your trainer pay. Very important to understand that. So let's walk through the situation. Let's say you have a 6.30 p.m. class Monday through Friday. Friday, and you typically have on average six people that attend that class. Those six people each pay on average $150 a month in reoccurring revenue. And those six people on average attend the class Monday through Friday. It doesn't have to be exact, but let's just take averages. So the first thing we need to understand, how much money are we making in revenue every single class? So the math to do that is number one, take the class, the 630 class, you have five classes per week times 4.3. You're going to come up with 21.5 but let's go ahead and round down to 21 just for the sake of math. So you have 21 total classes that you're servicing at 6.30 p.m. every single month. Then we have to figure out how much revenue am I actually collecting from the six people that are paying me to come to that class. And you take it on a monthly basis. So if they're averaging 150, take six times 150. That's how much revenue you collect for those people that are actually attending your class. That's $900. So now what you need to do is you need to take 900 and divide it by the number of classes to get how much revenue you make per class. That would come out to, on that equation, $42 and 80 something cents or 90 something cents, but we're going to round up just for ease of use on this equation to $43 per class. So your revenue, forget profit, your revenue that you're making for that class is $43 per class. So if you're still tracking with me, that's the revenue. We need to figure out what's the margin. So bear with me here. Your cost of goods sold, as we talked about earlier, is your trainer cost. So let's assume that you're paying your trainer $20 an hour to coach classes. That's very important to understand is that you also most likely have employee tax and all that stuff. So you always should take whatever you pay your trainer and then add 22% on top, 22 to 30, but I'm going to use 22%. So take 20 times 1.22. That comes out to roughly $24, a little bit over. So we're going to keep it at $24. So it costs you $24 in actual money to service that class. We don't divide 24 into 43. We don't divide, we don't do anything else. The actual formula is a little bit more difficult than that because what we need to find is what's the difference between 43 and 24? So so 43 is the revenue, the cost is 24. What's that difference? And then divide that difference into your revenue and that will give you your gross margin. So the equation is this. You take 43 minus 24, that will give you $19. So $19 is your gross absolute amount of money, profit that you make per class. Then you take $19, divide it into $43 and you're gonna get 44%. That's a 44% gross margin. Doesn't sound like 80% to me. And 80% should be the minimum standard. So you can do that, use that math on every single class you have. Now to get realistic stuff is pull reporting for the last 90 days inside of each class, figure out average attendance per and figure out what's the revenue per. And you can run this equation on every single class that you have. And you can cut the ones that you know are not getting at least 80% gross margins on those. Because if you're running a large group facility, you can't be wasting money and time on these classes. And the other piece behind it that's really important is that no one really wants to go to a slow class that doesn't have a lot of attendance, especially if they're coming to a group training facility. They typically want to go to a large class and have the energy and the vibe that comes along with that so I can work out with other people, which means they're going to be more apt to continue to come and it also means they're going to get better results. So recap, to find gross margin per class that you can figure out if you're making enough per class, you want to find the revenue per class and then you want to subtract the difference between the revenue per class and your cost of goods sold, which is your trainer pay and divide that into your revenue per class and that will find you, that will give you your actual gross margin that you need. If you like this type of information, you want to learn more about how you can grow your facility, hit the like button, hit the subscribe and then down below in the description, 
there's gonna be a link for a document called the seven money models that we use to scale gyms to over $100,000 per month, like clockwork. In there, there are over 30 different money models and systems that our gym owners use, and they pay us $42,000 a year or more to implement inside of their gyms so that they can scale. I highly suggest that you grab this, and the reason why is it's completely for free. There's a bunch of videos that will walk you through all of them, but more importantly is that our average client, by implementing these systems and working with us, adds over $200,000 in new revenue every single year to their facility. 105 of that is pure profit. So if you wanna have access to the same information that they do, go ahead, click the link down below, grab it for free. It's a free gift from us. We just wanna help gym owners reach more people, change more lives, and make more money.